Hello everybody, so new review for you guys today, a big review, we're talking about the long-awaited Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's been a long time coming, but we finally reached the finish line when it comes to actually having this project come to fruition. After all of that drama that was surrounding the original 2017 Justice League, I am really happy to see Zack Snyder finally get his full vision realized for this Justice League film, and it's coming very soon to HBO Max, which I want to thank for actually supplying me with a screener so I can talk about it with you guys just a little bit early. This is a spoiler-free review, by the way, I want to make sure you guys all know that ahead of time, but I can happily confirm that this film is vastly different in many different ways than the 2017 Justice League film. The overall tone of everything is different here, feeling much more serious as the dumb, cringy jokes that we got in the 2017 film are all gone, and on top of that, all of the new footage that we get for Zack Snyder's Justice League vastly improves the film as a whole. It now truly feels like a film that has a lot of heart behind it and gives us emotional payoffs for all of these different various characters, while also giving each member moments to shine as heroes individually, as well as the group as the Justice League. Especially with that extended four hour long runtime, exploring these characters is exactly what we needed to actually get us more invested in them, especially for some of these characters who don't have the luxury of having a solo film already. The character who benefits the most from this, I feel, is actually Cyborg. I think Ray Fisher does a phenomenal job with this character. He brings so much heart and compassion to the role of Cyborg, and it'd be really unfortunate if Ray Fisher doesn't get to portray this role again in the future because I think he was one of the best parts of this Zack Snyder's Justice League just because his backstory was so heart-wrenching and I really enjoyed seeing more of his character in this. And even though he isn't new, I just love to talk about Ben Affleck's Batman. I think he's so great in this version of Justice League and I'm really hoping that we get more of him in the future. I mean, he's just so great in this film that I really just don't want to let go on the fact that he's going to be Batman in the future. I mean, I hope that he's going to be more of a role in the Flash film that's coming up, but we'll see when it comes to the future of Ben Affleck as Batman. This isn't the film's fault, but I do really wish I could have seen this in a theater because there's so many amazing epic action scenes sequences that I think would have been really enhanced by seeing this on the big screen in IMAX or something along those lines. I've always felt that's one of Snyder's biggest strengths are his action sequences in his films and I think this is some of the best ones he's done to date. There's such a wide variety of these big epic action sequences that I just know a packed theater would have erupted in cheers. Whether if you're a fan of comic book films in general or these characters I think that a lot of these epic action scenes are going to make you guys really happy. And because this cut is rated R they can really go there when it comes to the violence in the action sequences which is also kind of a fun treat. I think that every one of the members of the Justice League gets an epic moment to shine when it comes to the battles. I think my favorites personally are Wonder Woman's battle scenes. This is probably the most fierce portrayal of Wonder Woman we've seen put to screen. Like, she's really badass in this, even more so than we got in Wonder Woman 1984. Because Zack Snyder just directs his action with her a lot different than Patty Jenkins does. Also, Superman as well. I want to touch upon it a little bit, but Black Suit Superman, he's basically everything you wanted to see from the original Justice League film. Thankfully, there is no CGI mustache and all that stuff. But I feel the payoff for Black Black Suit Superman in Zack Snyder's Justice League is really great and it throws out some really great homages to Man of Steel as well so if you're a big fan of Man of Steel you're going to love the Superman scenes and I think that a lot of the scenes in general are actually enhanced by Junkie XL's score. I think the stuff he does with Wonder Woman's score as well is probably one of my favorite aspects but I think I, I think Junkie XL's score is just overall much better than Danny Elfman's in the original film. And you know as someone who was actually kind of hesitant when they announced that the runtime was going to be four hours and two minutes long I will say that I think the film as a whole was paced pretty well. Almost no time really feels wasted as the story is chugging along, giving us this full grandiose scale of this epic story with various locations and flashbacks, some of which do include Darkseid. The addition of Darkseid and Desaad's character I do think brings another extra great element to this Zack Snyder's Justice League. Darkseid is awesome, he's very scary, he has this gravitas to him that just invokes fear into all of the characters, whether he's on screen or not, just his presence alone just brings that intensity. But the way we leave things off with Darkseid, I really hope that we get some sort of sequel involvement with him in the future of the DCEU. And I will admit, even though I was also a little bit hesitant on the redesign for Steppenwolf, I think they actually do a really great job with it and it grew on me as I watched Zack Snyder's Justice League. They actually make him a much scarier imposing force of a villain for Justice League in this, whether he's battling the Justice League or Amazonians or anyone along the way. He's just a much more intimidating force in this and I think that is great and I'm just going to try and block out 2017 Steppenwolf from my head for the rest of eternity. If there's any gripes I had with the film, I do think there were some really weird editing moments. There were a lot of shots that kind of just cut in very weird ways. And I don't know if that's potentially because they didn't really shoot a lot of new footage for this, so they kind of just had to work with what they had here. But a lot of those kind of cuts did feel quite jarring going from scene to scene at some points. And as I said earlier, there is a lot of cringe dialogue that's removed from the film thanks to it being Joss Whedon footage. But there is still some cringe dialogue that goes to Ezra Miller's The Flash. I do think he is the weak link of the Justice League at this point, but I am hoping that maybe in his upcoming solo film he'll be a little bit better in 
it. But yeah, overall, I think Zack Snyder's Justice League is actually quite good. I think it does a really great job building the foundation of this world that Snyder's built in the DCEU, while also throwing out some potential sequel threads that who knows if we'll actually get those sequel threads. I guess the fan support will decide that, whether you want it or not. But even if this is the final chapter for Zack Snyder in the DCEU, I think it's a really great way to wrap everything up in a sense. You know, he got to make his version of Justice League that he wanted to make back in 2017, and I'm happy for him. I'm really excited to see all the fans, what they think of it when it hits HBO Max later this week. I think it's going to be a really fun discussion, just because I did try to not talk about any spoilers, because there's a lot of really awesome, exciting moments that haven't been spoiled yet that I really want to talk about with you guys as well. Those have just been my thoughts on Zack Snyder's Justice League. I'd love all your thoughts down below in the comment section, whether you liked it, you not liked it, or you're looking forward to it. All your thoughts down below. Make sure they're spoiler-free, just because we don't want to spoil anything for anybody else. But thank you as always for checking my reviews, though. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like it, the subscribe button. We'll keep making reviews, channel reactions, unboxings, and more on the channel. But the next time, I'll see you guys later.